I think uh, I think the most important thing is it was probably the complete uh, game we've been looking for. I mean, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. You know, we've been in a little bit of a rut. I think just one. Obviously, we were two and one, but it just didn't feel the same. The energy. And then after tonight, you walk in that locker room, there's a different energy. These guys have, you know, got something going here tonight. And I think uh, it was started uh, by our offense. You know, everybody wanted to talk about the defense at halftime, you know, having zero points and things like that. But when you can control the line of scrimmage and move the ball the way they did in the first half, uh, I think a lot of a lot of momentum, a lot of energy for us on both sides of the football were played there. I would have really set the tone early in the ball game, four touchdowns, three of those in the first half, and kind of moved it with ease. Yeah, we did a good job. I mean, Des Ritter had a command of, of some things today. Um, you know, our ability to, to throw the football, not just run it on the run. I think sometimes we get into the rut where if we can't run the football, we can't generate some energy. And we came out this tonight here and Kent generated energy through the air as well. I mean, we got balance. I think we're a lot tougher to football teams now. A lot of talk about wanting to start fast. You get the nice kickoff return, getting good field position. Did you feel like that was kind of what you needed to jump start this? Yeah, I mean, we, we've been saying, I mean, uh, last week, a week and a half, two weeks ago, uh, the, the team that, the, the group that really set them up, the energy and the momentum was the kickoff team. If you really look back, we didn't play well early on, but that kickoff team was really the kind of spark that got us going. And I don't just mean because they knocked the ball loose or something like that, but I mean the way they go about their business, the, the energy and the speed they're running with tonight, you know, they had the kickoff return. And, we got some guys that, uh, that I don't know that we've had in the past uh, that, that can, can do some things with the football. And I mean that in the return game. Um, and if we can give them opportunities, I think we can generate a lot of energy. You know, even you know, 10, 15, uh, you know, extra yards from those guys, I think generates a lot of energy for us. And this game's a, a game of energy and momentum. On that note, you, you, Ryan Montgomery was kind of a forgotten about guy because of his gray shirt. How important has he been and, and is he becoming to this team? You know, he's just getting healthy. He'd been, he'd been kind of hobbled a little bit with the ankle, uh, and he hadn't quite been himself. I think we saw some things in camp that, you know, obviously was really good with the football and secured the football and could catch the football well. But you never know when these freshmen, the lights go on, what they're really going to do when they get the ball in their hand. And, you know, both him and Trey have, you know, been really, really strong for us. You know, the confidence level that we've got in them right now uh, and our ability to bring balls out of the end zone, the ability to say, hey, man, if you got an opportunity, don't fair catch that thing, get vertical for us and, and make something happen. I think there's, like I said, there's where a lot of that energy is also coming from. Not just, it doesn't have to be just the defense or the offense. How much? Eventually really swarmed the ball tonight and get marshaled down in distance with all behind the sticks alone. I think we were really good on first down. I think that was a, a big key for us, having the ability to change up a little bit coverage-wise sometimes instead of just getting into a rut uh, and win the first down battle. Because if we can get ourselves into those third and eight plus, seven plus situations, you know, our combination of rush and the guys that can cover behind us really make it difficult. And I think that's the key for us tonight. In a lot of those third down situations, they were eight plus. And offensively, that's just a really tough uh, kind of a situation to be in on a consistent basis. And, you know, it kind of added up for us. I think this is the version of Ritter that we all expected to see coming into this season. Was there any adjustments he made or the offensive line made that you feel like kind of sparked it tonight? I, I just think that, you know, sometimes you get into some of those ruts with your, your energy and different things like that. And you know, this this last week and a half, it, it's been different. And, you know, I don't, I can't pinpoint one thing. I talked to the team about it on, uh, on Sunday night when we came back in. There's not one thing I could tell you we can do to kind of get our mojo and get some energy back, but there's some things we got to do together uh, that really, you know, take some time. And, you know, it, it's individuals that can, you know, have a better grasp of things and can do things quicker. Uh, obviously, the quarterback in Des in particular is one of them. And, and, you know, I felt it all week, and he came out tonight and, and uh, really showed. How do you feel like the offensive line bounced back after a rough couple weeks? They, they did a good job. I mean, really did. I mean, I was, I thought that this was one of the more active fronts that we were going to see. You know, obviously UCLA was a really big, stout front. Obviously, week two, Ohio State has you know, a phenomenal front. Uh, Miami kind of outworked us a little bit the, <coughs> two weeks ago. Um, but this was one of the more active fronts that I had seen on film. Um, and they really did a really, really good job tonight uh, you know, controlling that thing up front, both uh, in the running and the pass. How nice is it to have a guy like Benny be able to step in and tackle a guard if you need him? That's what we knew we've kind of wanted to develop. And when we talk about those 22, we try to say the 1As and 1Bs. It's hard at an offensive line position because you don't roll guys as much at offensive line. But we knew we need to have seven of those guys 
any situation that came up and uh, for him to have the experience he's had this year so far playing some tackle, uh, to be able to step in there and really do a great job for Cooper. And then Alec Pierce, I'd imagine what he's doing isn't surprising you guys. It seems like he's stepping into like a leading role. He is, and, and you know we've kind of bounced him around as we talked about you know, in bowl practice last year. He was a linebacker, and as we started spring, he was kind of didn't know which side of the ball he was going to be on, and um, you know he's kind of really taking some ownership in the things that we're doing. And you know when you build a connection with your quarterback, I think it really makes it you know a little bit different as well. And I think that's what he's doing. And why is it whenever there's a heads up play, it seems like Josiah is the guy that. <laughs> the one around the we could do, do it all over again, just like the UCLA game, and a guy that uh, he, he's the culture of what we're talking about, and, and he is. He's he's got an opportunity to continue to play this game, and uh, I wish we had him for longer, and we're going to continue to use him. Got to see kind of that full complement of tight ends tonight. That I know you, everyone knew that had talent coming in, but a lot of them got to show it tonight. We did. We we got obviously Bruno got a touchdown pass, but Josh Wiley got in there a little bit more and, and started mixing it up after he's been dinged around a little bit. Lenny Taylor goes in there and is really the guy that can pretty much do everything. Um, we got to continue to develop those guys, and I, I always think it's tough defensively when you can mix in some tight ends that uh, you know that aren't one dimensional. Good. Thanks, coach. Right, thank you. Thank you.